Hello Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot reading. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. And I thank each and every one of you for all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly, truly grateful for each and every one of you. I love, I love you all. And as a gentle reminder, this is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius. Cross watchers, you are welcome, but do be mindful that this is Aquarius's reading. And I give the same respect for Aquarius as I, I give the same respect. respect. Ah, I've been doing this all morning long. All the signs in one. Uh, most of the signs in one day. Two of them last night. rest of them this morning. So I'm getting a little tongue tied. Anyhow, I have, I give your sign the same respect as I give Aquarius. Okay. Um. <clears throat> And along with this being for Aquarius, this is a general read, not a personal one-on-one -on -one read. This is for the collective. So this may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave the rest. And check your other planetary placements, past videos, or I'll catch you in the next one. Switch it and reverse it as applicable. Okay, show me that Aquarius energy, please. Show me that Aquarius energy. Okay, we have financial constraints. Okay, what else? Comfort, comfort, cupboard. Like I said, I'm tongue-tied. My brain is, is processing faster than my lips. Okay, um, cupboard is empty. I uh, might have to cut back on some things. Might be feeling a pinch this week financially, Aquarius. Okay, what else, please? Adjacent to possibilities. Okay. Attachment. Okay. Here's the dealio. Door to personal healing and happiness. Possibilities. There's a rainbow after the storm. Okay, Aquarius. It's not the end all. Okay. This is not the end of the world. But if you have been struggling financially, maybe wondering where your next meal is coming from, whatever, there are possibilities. There are multiple doors, multiple options open and up to you. This feels like Seven of Cups energy. Multiple options. Okay. The doors are opening. Attachment is you may be attached to a certain way of life. And that certain way of life you may have been struggling to maintain a certain level of life, a certain lifestyle. But you need to kind of break certain attachments, certain expectations, so that you can open up to these new possibilities, if that makes sense to you. Okay. Okay, let's dig in. Let's see if you're going to kick my ass like Capricorn did. Oh, uh, Capricorn's wasn't too bad, but uh, I think which one was it? Taurus? Maybe Taurus and Aries were both like... <sighs> but they, the Taurus and Aries were done last night. The rest of them were done this morning. Okay. Gemini was a little bit sketchy too. But the readings have been getting better. Um, Sagittarius had a phenomenal reading. Capricorn standing their ground. Let's see what you're doing here. Okay. Show me that Aquarian energy. Show me that. Okay, thank you. Four of Cups is dead center. I start with that. I like to start with the center card. It shows me where the reading is headed. What is the dead center? What is the focus? This is the focus card. the key, Or AKA the key card. And apparently, there is something that you're not happy with. Okay. There is something here. That has not been fulfilling. Feeling unmotiva unmotivated. There is a light here. But the light's not on. Oh, there's, there's cups here. There's three cups right there. Kind of put them aside. 
There's another one there you're looking at. That's what I'm saying. You might, there's an attachment to this to the other cups. Something that has not been working for you that you need to detach from. Because there's another option. You know, there's doors opening up. You have to be open to receive, open to investigate and explore them. And not be so stuck on one path. Something obviously isn't working. You're feeling the restraint. The cupboard's empty. Now, with Oracle cards, you, you do have to take them with a grain of salt. If you're not struggling financially, if this is all emotionally based, your heart space, you might be feeling empty inside. Okay? And there's and you're uh, and because part of it is being attached to a comfort zone, when there's other possibilities that you have been ignoring, not willing to look at, and that's what I'm picking up. The Aquarius I'm talking today. Now, Aquarius, you are a fixed sign. So once you get your mind stuck on something in a certain direction, your mind made up, you're attached to a certain decision, a certain pathway, fixed signs do not like change. But sometimes you have to embrace change even if it's uncomfortable for you. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, a bit of anxiety here. A bit of anxiety. Some of you may be even emotionally depressed because of an attachment to some negativity. This is what they're saying. Uh, this is a week of working on yourself, I feel. Working on yourself, working on your finances. Without money, yes. When you're worried about your bills, there's worry here. It can cause depression. Knight of Swords. Okay. There seems to be a sense of bravery that is needed. Oh, going against the flow. Okay. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be just some fast moving action, which I am not seeing that. Impatience, yes. Being impatient with oneself or with your financial status could cause you to, to make hasty decisions without thinking it through first. But I'm feeling more so that you're going against the flow of things. Don't shoot the messenger, but this is what they're showing me here. They're showing me somebody who wants to be a quote-unquote know-it-all. I, Aquarius, know the be what's best. I, I know it all. I know the answers. But whatever answers that you are attached to is not fucking working. That is what Spirit is trying to get across to you for this week. There's an offer coming in. Don't ignore it. Sometimes we have to detach from old beliefs. Sometimes we have to... Ha some of okay, sometimes we have to go against the flow. Thank you, Spirit. They did correct me. There's going against the flow of other people's expectations and your own that you may need to do, but don't fight the flow of the energy of what Spirit is, has in store for you. Thank you. They kind of thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. Moon energy. This is exactly why you stay attached to your old ways. The moon. The moon is Aquarius's enemy in your mind. You don't like the hidden. You don't like the unknown. You don't like a mystery. When something it produces a mystery to you, it produces fears and phobias. A phobia of the unknown is what I'm getting. You have no idea 
what's behind these doors unless you open them. <clears throat> and there is a fear of opening those doors. I'd rather stay attached to my life, even if it means I am struggling. But the struggling, it has a rippling effect. It trickles down to other areas of your life, your emotionality, your relationships, your mental health. It is not just a financial end. So it has other consequences. So it's like you don't know what's behind the door unless you open it. Okay, how are we closing? How are we closing? How are we closing? Show me the closing. No. I'm not, I thought for a minute. No. There we go. Thank you. King of Florence. There you go. Stability. Comforts of home. Getting in control of your finances. This is somebody who's very successful. This could be your boss. This could be a new boss. I get this sense of newness because there's adjacent possibilities, a new opportunity. We'll see when I do the breakdown. So, when you step outside your comfort zone and you open up those doors, there's prosperity behind them. There's an opportunity. Let's see what's underlining. We have Page of Cups here. This seems to be, <clears throat> you do a lot of dreaming of the what if. Um, you try not to play into your emotions too much. You try to keep them very small. So you're not showing very much emotionality here. But when you do, it is met with the Nine of Swords. Okay. So, yes, this is definitely having an emotional effect on you. There, there's this need of self-care, a need of changing of your mindset, having that little talk with the self. There could be spiritual messages coming through, your guides, guardian angels, God, whomever, trying to speak to you and trying to guide you. You've got to be open to what the universe is trying to give to you okay orangey is trying to come out here okay this is um some of my decks they tell me their names not all of them this one do i said orangey and they says no ginger so this is ginger my favorite redhead okay you know how sometimes they call redhead ginger well this is yeah uh, the spirit of this deck. Uh, her name is Ginger. So here comes Ginger. Slowly but surely. I've got a couple decks that have names. Not all the spirits, not all the decks give me their, their name. The spirit associated with them. Okay. Okay, Ginger. Okay, what is this? Nine of Swords. Let's dig in here. Five of Swords. Self-sabotaging. There you go. A sense of ego. Your ego is going to be your downfall. You remember when I said, um, Aquarius says, I have all the answers. Um, don't be a know-it-all, Aquarius. Princess of Pentacles. You know, there's an offer here that you may not be looking at, that you're going to be sabotaging yourself because it has the potential to go from the page to the king. But if you don't open the door, if you ignore it, I, Aquarius, have it. I know what I'm doing. Judgment. That's a bad judgment call. Ace of chalices. 
that's a new beginning. You know, that's a, there's a sense of abundance here. It goes beyond. It's I'm not reading this as new love. Not at all. Well, I'm not saying that it can't be, but I'm feeling this is about job and career. There could be a love interest that holds you back and maybe you don't want to look at these new options because of your heart space with somebody else. Some of you, maybe it requires relocation. Justice. You know, this is about weighing out and balancing what feels right. Okay. There is a certain judgment call that needs to be made here. And it's just saying, are you going to answer the call? But the Five of Swords says you don't trust it. Or you don't trust your own judgment. Or you're in a sense of ego. Like, I know it all. I've got this. I can handle this. I don't need to make any changes. It'll get better. It ain't getting better, honey. You gotta make a choice. Okay, show me this Knight of Swords. There's action you have to take here. Six of Chalices. <clears throat> so you are stuck in past patterns. Okay. Queen of Wands. There could be somebody of the opposite sex that is attractive to you. That you have a soul bond with. Like I said, there could be a third party here that's interfering. Not in the sense of a relationship, but a sense of your future. Okay. Again, on one of the other signs I was drawn to the plane here. Again, there seems to be a sense of travel here. Maybe even relocation to take advantage of this opportunity. But there might be family or somebody that tries to exhibit control that holds you back. And so you're like, I, you are maybe self-sabotaging yourself. And not, and putting your heart space, some kind of tie over your finances. It's like love is clouding your judgment. Thank you. Love, heart space clouding your judgment, which is very unusual for you, Aquarius. And we do have somebody here. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's ambitious, who knows what they want. Show me, I want to know more about this Queen of Wands. Show me. Princess of Swords is watching, spying. A difficult conversation with the Queen of, Queen of Wands. I don't feel that you're happy with this conversation with the Four of Cups. There's a very much a stuck energy here. Could be family ties. So I get the sense of family, even though it's the Six of Chalices. I'm getting more than a soul bond. I'm getting, I'm getting family issues here. A sense of obligation. Okay, Four of Cups. Knight of Chalices, an invitation. For growth. You're sitting out the window wondering, what if? Got the Four of Cups here twice. With just emphasis. You're not happy where you are now. You're being faced... To speak your truth about how you feel. Money's tight. You're trying to hold on to your money. The cupboard's empty. Something has to change. And I feel the more I dig into this, the more I feel it's family. Family does not want you to relocate. I don't know why, but it just seems like that there might be somebody in the family dynamic that, that feels like they need to be in control. Lover's card here. 
I'm not reading it as a traditional lovers because I'm seeing the ties. And there's some, there's a master puppeteer here overseeing your connection. So it is a parent or in-laws. I keep hearing in-laws. In-laws. Could be your own parents, but I'm not feeling that, Aquarius. Intuitively, I'm feeling like in-laws. Somebody wants control. Somebody is a control freak over their daughter, over their son. Um, that won't let you pick up and relocate with your with your immediate family, your spouse, your children. Because somebody has a sense of control that they cannot cut the apron strings. Someone cannot cut the apron strings. That's what this boils down to. And Aquarius, you're telling everybody you know what you're doing. You might be telling your own family, I know what I'm doing, but you're sabotaging yourself. Okay. The moon energy, three of wands. Under the moon, you might be planning or you're secretly longing to travel. Chariot energy. You want to move. You want this move. This is something you want really badly. And you know the benefits. You can see the benefits. Eight of Swords, but you're stuck in your head. You're involved in an unhealthy domestic situation. I swear there's in-laws involved. I swear it. I swear it. But if you go against the flow... Of what your in-laws, father-in-law, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, whoever is imposing upon you. The restrictions that they are imposing upon you. You go against that you, and you say no. And you go and you move. And you trust your instincts and your movement. You get to your king of cups. You get to that stability. Show me this King of Cups energy. Justice. That's your path. Finance is balancing out. Celebrating. This is, cel this is celebrating a new job, a new position, absolutely. Two of Swords, but you're going to duel with somebody over it. There's a power struggle over this move it's the right move for you it's the right move for your family there's happiness there's contentment you're able to take care of your family in the way that you want you don't have to worry about the empty cupboards this is moving from the page to the king zip the page is an empty cupboard minimum investment minimum in the house you know minimal 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 you go right to the king. That's some fucking growth there. I mean, it to me, this is a no-brainer. And even God himself is speaking with the thunder in the sky saying, Aquarius! I, the Lord thy God, speaketh. I'm giving you this opportunity. Just open the fucking door and take a look. I will not disappoint. Universe is saying, open the fucking door and we will and you I will not disappoint you. Wow. Yeah, but expect opposition. You're gonna be dueling with somebody over this. You know that this is a good move for you. But you have to stop letting somebody else control your life and control your family. You know, there's some, nothing more than I hate than in-laws that want to stick their nose and control your relationship and your fucking marriage. Oh, my God. I, that happens all the time. It's not just you, Aquarius. It's like, cut the fucking apron strings already. You need to cut those apron strings, honey. And say, you know, I'm going. I'm taking my family. This is an opportunity where I can provide for my family. 
And for some of you, it's like I'm, um, okay, they're showing me here that they don't want you to go. It's control and the fact that they rely on you in some sense as well. Make the fucking in-laws stand on their own two feet. They did it before you came along. They did it when they were raising their children, right? Let it go. Kabam! There you go. go. Let this situation go. Let this domestic situation go. Let it go and get going. Close Encounters. There's a butterfly in a cage. Whether there's a cage of protection, I do not know. But this, that, that butterfly, I'm reading intuitively. There's a butterfly on the outside and there's one on the inside. There is an opportunity, but you're caging yourself up. Open that fucking door and see what the, what the universe has to offer for you. Tens represent endings, but reduces to a one to a beginning. You cannot have a new beginning without an ending. Let me say that again. You cannot have a new beginning without an ending. And there you have it. This is what your week's looking like. Get prepared. Get prepared. Okay, so that's it for now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Comment below as you see fit. Love and light. Blessed be.